Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's explore why current actually flows through a circuit. Well, first of all, you need two things. You need a voltage supply, something that will produce a voltage or potential difference across the circuit. And then you need a complete circuit, a complete loop. No breaks anywhere in the loop, our current will not flow. So here we have an example where we have a three volt battery supplying a potential difference across a circuit. And so I'm assuming that this here represents the entire circuit so we can take a closer look at what's happening right inside the circuit. If there is a potential difference created by a battery or a voltage source, then on one side of the circuit will have a high potential and on the other side of the circuit will have a low potential. The difference between those two values creates what we call the potential difference. Now, if we remember the concept of an electric field and the units of an electric field, there can be expressed in terms of voltage per meter, the amount of potential difference over a certain amount of length. So here we can then um, define the electric field inside the circuit by the potential difference applied to the circuit, the voltage applied to circuit V, divided by the length of the circuit. So the voltage source creates a potential difference across the circuit. Now that potential difference creates an electric field and the charges in the conductor experience a force while they're inside that field and the force is equal to the charge value times the strength of the electric field. So every one of these charges inside the conductor feels a force equal to the strength of the electric field times the size of the charge. Now typically all the charges in there are going to be electrons, singular charges, so it's simply the charge of an electron times the strength of the field. And the strength of the field is simply proportional to the strength or the amount of potential difference applied by the battery or the voltage source. You put in a bigger battery, a stronger battery, one that has a greater potential difference, you create a stronger electric field, and then you create a stronger or greater force on each of the charges. So the force then pushes the charges through the circuit, producing a current, and that's the idea. Once these charges feel that force, they get pushed through the circuit, which is then what produces the current, because by definition, a current is the flow of charges per unit time, so dq dt, or we can also write it in terms of i, without using the differential equation, the amount of charge q in the amount of time passing through a circuit. Now, what we can see here is that the amount of current going through a circuit is simply proportional to the amount of force applied by the electric field. So therefore, the current is a proportional to the strength of the electric field, and since the strength of the electric field is proportional to the voltage applied, we can then say that the current to the circuit is proportional to the voltage applied. And so, a difference in potential, a delta V, produces an electric field, which exerts a force, F equals EQ, which makes the charges move. And that's why there's a current in a circuit.